This weekend, Denise caused quite a stir in the uh, Loose Women WhatsApp group. It drove Jane wild. It gave Ruth <laughs> hives. I had flashbacks. And Kay, well, it left her and her husband even Ian up all night thrashing it out. Uh, but what caused such a commotion? Denise put everyone out of their misery. OK, so there was a little puzzle. I'm not really a lover of a puzzle because of my maths phobia. And to be perfect, so but was the fact that my sister sent it to me and that made me more interested in it. So I was lying on the settee on Saturday night and Debbie sent this puzzle. And it was a little boy with some, I think you can see it on the screen there, with some trainers and some um, popcorn or something in cones. And you had to work out what each of the symbols stood for. And the final result was that. It took me about eight attempts and my sister was absolutely loving coming back to me going, no, no, look a bit closer, look a bit closer. And eventually, after ages, I came up with the right answer, gleefully sent it, yes, like this. And I was very smug and doing a bit of this. So I sent it to some pals and I sent it, of course, to the Loose Women WhatsApp group. I then went to sleep. When I woke up, I could see all of the girls had been on WhatsApp and there was this complete thing going on where some of them had been like Andrea sort of saying, oh, I can't be bothered with it. Ruth had gone into meltdown and said, oh, it's reminding me of maths. But there were other people such as Ms. Adams and, um, and who was the other one? Jane, Jane Moore, who were obsessed with it. Well, and the funny, you the see funny what it thing says is... There? You could have taken their names off of that WhatsApp group and you would have known exactly who was who. And we've had to block what... out the swearing. <laughs> swearing. <laughs> Kate, yeah. Yeah. Well, Ian and I were up all night sweating over that. And they're back and but forth. You... <laughs> Jane gets really frustrated at one point. I actually, for the first time, had a two-day little vacation from the WhatsApp group because I couldn't think of anything I know. worse than trying but to work that is... out. In response to Kay saying that her and Ian were up sweating all night, then McGiffin piped in and said, well, at least something was keeping you up sweating all night. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went down a whole different track and then I became interested. <laughs> it, left, it left the maths behind. But, but you were very full of yourself so, with having the right answer, weren't you, Denise? Can, but also, I was, but also, so was so Stacey Solomon because I saw her do a little sort of, it's not rocket science, girls. If you look, the boy equals five, the this equals this. So, of course, I'm sorry to, to be a sort of spoiler for anybody who's got it, but the answer that we eventually came up with, that everybody in the world came up with, was 48, OK? So, there's me working out. Boy equals five, two shoes, ten, uh, four, plus, anyway, 24 times two equals 48. That was the final thing, and everyone I know in the world came up with that. So, I sent it to our producer, Sally who came back with 43. <laughs> I scoffed, because I realised straight away that she was a K and a Jane, and I said, no, sorry, laughing faces. <laughs> anyway, then she comes back with something like, well, forgive me, but you are supposed to do it the bottomless way, right? And the answer is indeed 43, because you should have been multiplying first, right? Bodmus? I've never heard of Bodmus in my life. <laughs> <laughs> in my entire life, and I sent it to Lincoln's best friend is Mark Warren, a.k.a. Vandervalk. I said, look, and sent him the YouTube thing with 43. He was incandescent <laughs> with rage. <laughs> Oh, God. Let me, let me just read it out. I had, can I just say, I had to get the team to write out <laughs> this because I have no idea. Okay, so the answer is 43. The explanation is just record this and play it back slowly. And this is the, the Bobmas theory. So two shoes equals 10. So one shoe equals five. A boy equals five. Two mm. bags of popcorn equal four. So one bag equals two. What? So <laughs> the, the key is to look closely at the boy in the final line. The boy has two bags of popcorn and he's wearing two shoes. So... 5 plus 19 in brackets, 5 plus 10 plus 4, close brackets, times 2 equals 43. But where's the brackets? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go back to the memes, please? <laughs> no, I'm going to ban puzzles on that WhatsApp group. <laughs> it's called 
like... division. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. It has caused Even. division. Oh, I like that. I like that. God.